Welcome back. Today I want to talk about rasps. Now in case you're not familiar with the rasp, like I wasn't a year or two ago, here's some macro footage that I made to just today of one of my rasps using my fingers as a size scale reference. It's just, it's like a file, but instead of ridges that can grind off very fine bits of material, it's got these little gouged out pokey places in the metal, which can remove a lot of material from a piece of lumber, anything made of wood, certainly, but I, I assume other materials as well. I first went looking for one, I think when I was building my blanket box. That's in another video, but I, it had a bunch of holes in it, and those holes I didn't saw through perfectly, and some of the inside edges were rough and uneven. So I wanted a rasp, once I found out what they were, to remove material from inside those holes, rather than rolling up a piece of sandpaper and going back and forth through it a thousand times, just to remove half a millimeter. At the big box stores, all the rasps I found were just pieces of metal. This is a file. It's a piece of a uh, metal file, but this is basically what the rasps looked like that I found at Lowe's and Home Depot. And basically you would just have to hold the metal with your hand, I guess, because they didn't even, they didn't even have like a little pin at the end that you could connect it with a handle. Well, I didn't want to hold it that way. I wanted one with a handle. So not too long after that, I was in Harbor Freight and I found a set. And they came in a set of three that looked about like this. It has this little tiny orange plastic handle with the rasp. Now, this is the one that I showed in the macro footage a few seconds ago. The problem with this is that this little handle is really tiny. I don't know if you can see, but I feel like I'm holding it like one of those fine china teacups or something. And uh, when I actually try to put my fingers around it, the, there's no place for, for the small finger to go. And it's just, it's uncomfortable to hold. It did work though. That's the set that I used on that blanket box. And uh, there's this one, there's one that's slightly smaller with a rounded edge. And then there's one that's just round that worked perfectly for going in and out of those holes. But I kept my eyes open for a set of rasps that had handles. And I found this set of heart tools, which I don't know if they're made for Walmart or not, but Walmart's the only place that I've ever seen them. But anyway, it comes with this nice grippy handle here. That's the perfect size for the hand. One difference is these are not just rasps under this plastic clip at the top. Under the plastic clip at the top, there's a chisel edge, which isn't quite as sharp as you would want a chisel to be. And there's some flat, smooth area on both sides, aside from the rasp teeth. And there's a, there's a metal end here where you could, you know, hit it with a mallet or a hammer to actually use it as a chisel. So it's a combination chisel rasp. And here, here's some footage that I made when I first bought the, the heart chisel rasps, showing the comparison with the Harbor Freight ones, showing how small that handle is. It's better than me holding it up here in front of my webcam. And you can see that the handle is a much more substantial part of it, but the rasp part is not. It's a, it's a much smaller part of it. Now I decided to do a test to compare the two, and I tried to pick the two that were about the same width. Both of these here that I'm comparing, one side is a little curved over and the other side is flat. So I, I tested the curved side and the flat side on a, just a piece of 2x4 that I had in the garage setting on this wooden stool. And I tried to do about the same amount of strokes with each one, just, just trying to gouge a curved spot off the edge of the board. And I went several strokes with the, with the Pittsburgh, I think the Pittsburgh Rasp from Harbor Freight. You can see the sawdust material that's been gouged off there and then I tried the heart that I had found at Walmart. Uh, one difference with the heart is it I had a hard time getting it to bite the first time but once I started removing material uh, then it went okay. But then when I compared the two gouges the the Harbor Freight one had actually removed more material even though it wasn't as comfortable to hold it turned out to be more useful. And then uh, I did another test right next to that one. You can see me gouging it off here. And again, I tried to do the same amount of strokes using about the same amount of pressure. It's hard to gauge it perfectly, so it's not a scientific test. It was just for my own curiosity. And again, I had trouble getting the heart to start going through the material, but once it started, it worked just fine. But again, it didn't remove as much material as the Harbor Freight Rasp had. And then I tried, that was the curved side, and then I tried the flat side on the corner of the 2x4, and tr again, tried to do about the same amount of strokes with both rasps. This one that came out closer to even, but I still think that the Harbor Freight Rasp removed slightly more material. But the Hart one was definitely easier, more comfortable to hold in my hand, and it was pretty close. So when I say that the Harbor Freight Rasp removed more material, this was just over the course of about 15 or 20 strokes. And if you were going to be removing a lot of material, say in my blanket box when I had a whole bunch of holes to remove material from the interior of, it definitely, I think over the long term, it would have been better for me to have had the heart rasps at that time just because of the handle. Uh, after a while of holding something really small, the, your 
at least me, my hand muscles start to cramp up, I, I prefer something with a bigger handle. So if you had seen either of these, or if you have been in the market for a rasp, um, these are the two here. The Harbor Freight one's definitely longer, and it has a lot more of the of the working surface here on the on the metal blade, whereas the Hart's working surface is only about two and a half or three inches long. But the handle is much more comfortable to grip and to hold, and it has the chisel blade in case you want to sharpen that up and use it as a chisel. So it can it can do both. But anyway, that's what I found out. I, I've got both of them now, so I'm going to keep and use both of them. If I need something that's just a small, you know, one-off job, I'll probably grab the Harbor Freight rasps and, and just, you know, rasp something off. But if I know I'm going to be doing a lot of material removal, I'll probably go with the Hartwins just because they're more comfortable to hold. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.